Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries, I went back to Dollar Tree. I found some cute stuff. Number one, shoe eraser. This is cool, everybody could use this, right? What it does is, if your tennis shoes or shoes get like scuffy and dirty, this little thing, it says with just water will erase all the nastiness. Easily cleans white soles. Just add water. You know what I think it is? Magic eraser. Is it one of those? I bet it is. Use shoe eraser to clean your shoes. Removes dirt, scuff marks, and stains. All right, pretty easy. I thought for a dollar, that's not bad. A lot of people love to keep their shoes nice and white. I could care less. Converse are supposed to look like this. Ooh. For a buck, I guess it's not bad, but it is small. Could we not buy a bigger magic eraser and just do this at home? Let's try. Here's the before. It said put plenty of water, so I have a giant bowl of water here. So it said this side here not to use it on scuffs. It said midsole. I don't know what that means. What is midsole? I don't know. Not underneath, right? Why, why the hell are you cleaning underneath? Let's see. Look. Tell me if you do this with a magic eraser, but this is working. Wow, that worked. Look, the after, and I can still probably scrub some more. Tell me if you already knew about this. You didn't tell me. It's a good one. Hey, that looks pretty damn good. Look at it. Good? Okay, now I'm tempted to do the rest of the shoe. <laughs> Why am I touching the soles? There's fungalitis going around. Who knows if there's fungalitis at the bottom of my shoe? Ew, look at that. That's gross. Pretty easy too, you don't need... Oh, but I'm tearing it up, look at that. It's already falling apart. Is this one time use? That's not gonna work. I mean, it was a dollar. <laughs> Vivian, relax. Oh, but it is coming apart, look at that. Magic eraser doesn't fall apart that fast, does it? I've only used a magic eraser, I think once ever, but it does freaking work. So I'm gonna give the shoe eraser three. Vivian heads. Number two, a book cover, but not any book cover, you guys. It is a peel and stick glam fur. So I have a book here that needs a cover. Is this cheesy? Are kids gonna really do this? Have your kids done this? For a dollar, that's not bad, I guess. But I wish it was just a little larger, right? I guess you could put multiple pieces together if you have like a large book. I just wanna know if it's removable without damaging the book. That would defeat the purpose. Girl, we could use this for all kinds of stuff. Cause look at it. It's very thin. I wonder if we could put this like, oh my God. Guess what? Let me go grab it. Could we do it to my wand bottle? For a dollar, you have just made the party fun. We're gonna do one on the book and then one on my wine bottle. <laughs> oh my God, it's soft. Your hands are not gonna get cold and you don't have to explain why half of the bottle's already gone. <laughs> Good idea. Hell yeah, screw the book cover. This is gonna be a wine cover. You know what would be fun? If you and all your friends got different colored ones, right? And then everybody knows which bottle of wine is theirs. Super thin. So cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that is the best invention ever. Look, and it fits perfectly on the wine bottle, look. But the fuzzies are coming off. Is that just like the initial fuzzies? That's a party right there. That's a good time. I just invented something here. If you do this at home, take a picture and I wanna see it. Tag me on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, you should. I don't think you can watch this, so you're just gonna have to vacuum it or something. <laughs> this is so thin and flexible that you could literally put it on anything. Look how thin. You could do your steering wheel. How cool is that? Okay, let's do the book. I wanna know if it's removable, so I'll put it on the book and then we'll take it off. Oh, there it is. Fun, it's not straight, okay? So your kids are gonna look crazy. You're gonna have to help them make sure it looks straight. Yes or no, vote down below. Tell me that's not genius. All your friends can have a different color. <laughs> this is probably the most genius invention I've ever mentioned in one of my videos. There's still a little bit of stickiness on there that you could put it back down. Look, and it comes in all kinds of designs. So, I'm gonna give the Glam Fur four Vivian heads, cause it fuzzies, a lot of fuzzies. Number three, desk 
desktop arcade ball game. Number four, desktop ping pong game that you can play at your desk or on a cruise or on a road trip. Miniature, put them in your purse, put them in your backpack. Hours and hours of fun, like I always say. <laughs> Ew! Like at Chuck E. Cheese? Remember Chuck E. Cheese where you would throw the little thing? Even on an airplane? Who's going on a plane? Raise your hand in the comments right now. You better be careful, but you better be wearing your fungalitis mask. Oh my god. See? The kids are gonna have fun just assembling this thing. One, two, three, go. Nope. 10 points. This is cute. Kids. Ooh, that was 30 points. Oh, that was 20 points. Now the ping pong one. Oh my God, I'm so excited about this. <gasps> no! <laughs> They're actual little paddles. Tell me this is not worth a dollar. Play with yourself at work. <laughs> you guys know I love miniature things. Ta -da! <laughs> Do you love it? <laughs> I love the damn paddles. Look how cute they are. You know how much a real ping pong game costs? Not a dollar. I'm not good at this one. I'm gonna challenge you to a ping pong game. Boom, boom, boom! <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, so out of the two, obviously the ping pong is my absolute favorite because I love everything miniature about it. But this was pretty cute too. For one buck, totally worth it. So I'm gonna give the miniature games five. Vivian Heads. Number five. Sugar Lip Scrubber, LA Colors. Their stuff is not the highest quality, but it's not bad. Dude, they sell these at Ulta for way more than a dollar. For a dollar, give yourself a little bit of a scrub every night before you go to bed so your lips are nice and soft and juicy before your lover gets on you. We gotta pamper ourselves. I do think you have to do it on clean lips though. Like you can actually see little pieces of like, I guess sugar, but it's brown. So I'm gonna say brown sugar. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay. I feel no scrubbing. It is just chapstick. How disappointing. Oh, I feel ripped off. It says it gently exfoliates. Am I losing my mind? So I'm gonna give the LA Color Non-Sugar Scrub one. Vivian head. Number six. Fashion flowers. For your kids hair, I don't know, whoever wants to have a floral arrangement on their head, but not just any floral arrangements. It actually lights up. This is so cute. For Halloween, is that cute? For me, shit. For church? <laughs> the church ladies love hair arrangements, especially the sexy <laughs> Freaky ones, they love hair arrangements. They love to express themselves. Okay, I think you just pull the little battery pack out. <gasps> there it is. That's the little tab. Cool. <gasps> oh, how cute. I'm gonna have to turn off the lights because you guys can't see it. You can even adjust the band in case you got a big old head like me. These are so cute and they had different ones. They had like sunflowers and everything. I'm not seeing my head's too big. I gotta extend it some more. If your kid's still trick-or-treating and she's not ready to go home, she can just leave them like this. And then when she's ready to go home, she can just tell you by leaving them just constantly on. Then you know, okay, she's ready to go. She's sending me signals. <laughs> the lights are not that bright. Maybe I just have to adjust the flowers so that you can see them a little bit better because the flowers are blocking them. You gotta play around with the little LED lights in it because they're getting kind of blocked. Actually very well made. So I'm gonna give the Light Up Flower Headband four Vivian heads. Number seven, Pastry Mint for Pop-Tarts or I guess anything that comes, toast, I guess anything that comes out of here really, but they're advertising it and it's in the shape of a Pop-Tart, but we gotta be able to use it for different things. We don't buy products that are one use, one task, <laughs> right? We wanna multitask things. It is silicone, so it will stay cool. Cute, cheesy, we don't need this, right? Just grab a paper towel. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. <gasps> okay, this is kinda cheesy, we don't need this. Okay, wait a second. No, that's very useful. That way you don't have to stick your hand all the way in there. You know, sometimes toast, when it pops up, it kind of gets stuck in there. But 
do we need this or will a paper towel do the same thing? I just like that it gets in there, you know, far enough in to grab whatever you have. I think you'll forget though. That's my only hesitation. After a couple of times, you're gonna forget to take it out and use it and it's just another thing in your drawer. So I'm gonna give the Pop-Tart silicone sleeve two Vivian heads. Number eight, veggie storage. The reason I picked this up, you guys, because I've seen this at Walmart for like five bucks and it's supposed to preserve your fruits or vegetables, whatever you can fit into it for a little bit longer than just leaving them open in your fridge. I don't know if that's a fact, but that's what I've heard. I might be spreading rumors. I don't know. It is BPA free, freezer and dishwasher safe, not recommended for the microwave. It didn't say anything on the packaging about extending the freshness of our fruits or vegetables. So I'm like, okay, is this another one that we really don't need? Our Tupperware should do the same thing. Am I just wasting time and money by buying this and putting it in here? It's super cute though. That's why, see? What do you think? That's why I thought it would preserve it because it's in here. It's not just open to the air. Put this on top. Do we love it or is it a waste? It's so cute though. If you're one of those like super organized people that needs to have the refrigerator perfect, then maybe you don't want plastic things like this in there. So I'm gonna give the veggie storage thingy three Vivian heads. 